I'll be showing eight new features in Microsoft Teams. This includes an integrated co-pilot chat, the new chat and channels combined view, voice isolation for meetings, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is that Copilot Chat is built directly into Teams. So on the left app bar here, you're going to see Copilot. And I'll click this. And this is the Copilot Chat that's available in all Microsoft 365 versions, both in commercial and education. It's got enterprise data protection. You can see here in the upper right. I can collapse this if I just want to see the chat window. We'll expand that again. Now a note, this is not the full Microsoft Copilot, that $30 a month version. This is the version that just goes against web data. But I can do things like write a message to send to my team that talks about the new TPS report cover sheets. Do it in the style of Bill Lumberg. All right, here's a message in the classic Bill Lumberg style. Mm, yeah, about those TPS report cover sheets. So you can do all those same types of things. You've got the thumbs up, thumbs down. You can read it out loud. Sure thing, Mike. Here's a message in classic Bill Lumberg style that And if I want to create a new chat, I can go right here. You've got some recommendations on the ways to get started. You can see more, you know, what are analysts saying about some competitor this quarter. So lots of great interactions. I'm not going to go deep into this, but it is Copilot chat. It's all available. You can add content, etc. You can also go and get agents. And there's lots of different agents that you can get. I can also create my own agents, either this button here or click create agent. This lets you use existing agents here or I can configure my own agent. And I'm not gonna do the entire process, but right now this will go against the web because this is the free version of Copilot Chat. You can add different prompts and create your agents. We've got different videos on that. But this is just to show that you have the full Copilot Chat right here inside of Teams. The second new feature is the new combined chat and channels experience that you can enable. By default, you still have the same app bar here where you have your teams separate from your chat, just like you see here. But now if I go into settings, I'll hit the three dot menu, go to settings, and I'm going to go down to chats and channels. And you can see here, I've got this combined view that I can choose right here. And I'm going to show what that looks like. Also a note for education customers, this is now optional to be able to turn on as well. You first have to go into list. So by default, education goes to grid. So first change it to list and then you can go to combine. And I'm going to show what that looks like. You're going to see on the app bar over here, my teams has disappeared. It is combined right into the chat. So what you see here is you've got chats and then teams and channels are combined. If you got your favorites, so I've got a little section here I have for favorites, and I'm going to show how this works. So all of my chats are right here, and I can see everything. If I want to go to the three dot menu, I can see teams and channels, which is the default, or I can see channels only. So if I go to channels only, this is going to make everything for my teams into one big flat list of channels. And then I can do things like sort it. So I can say A to Z. I can show all my channels sorted here, or I can show unread only at the top. I'll go back to here or even most recent. So now if I go unread only, I can see, oh, there was a update right here in the TPS report zone. And there was another update here. I can see all of them like this. So what it does is this is filtered out all my teams. If I just want to see channels here, everything now is in the chat. So I don't have different places to go for chats or channels. I'm going to go back and go to the default, which is teams and channels. This shows all my teams still. And if I want to add these little sections here like favorites, let's say I want to add a science channel up to favorites. I'll hit office hours, hit the three dot menu and say show in favorites. I can even create a new section. Maybe I want to have a new section right here. Mike's stuff, hit create. And again, I can go and add things into that. Now I'll say show in Mike's stuff and it adds it right there. So this is a whole new way to work if you want to have that merged chats and channels experience. I'm going to go back and set it back and you'll see how the teams will appear back here. So I'm going to go back up into settings, go into chats and channels, and we'll go back into separate. And you'll see immediately teams goes back here. So now this is back to the filtering out of teams and chats. The third new feature lets you expand the right hand panel out in your chat. So if I go to the three dot menu, I can say in this chat, we're going to make that panel bigger. And now I can see things that are shared in here. I can even size this so if I want to make it bigger or smaller. I can open and close it with Alt P. So that's just a shortcut. So Alt P opens and closes 
or I can go right here and close the chat details, close it back up. The fourth new feature is a small but useful one, and that is searching for emoji names. So if I go here for emojis, now I can go here and I can search for something. Let's say I search for party, and it pulls up the little party emoji. So very easy to search for that. Same thing here, if I go and hover and go here, I can search for those different emoji types. There we go. The fifth new feature is a big one for keyboard shortcut lovers. So I'm gonna do control period to open up all of the team's keyboard shortcuts. And hopefully you've all seen this at some point. Now, when I hover though, I can edit. So I can edit any of these keyboard shortcuts. So if I wanna change something like toggle details pane from Alt P, I click edit shortcut and I can change it to something different. Maybe I want Alt L. Oh, this one says that's the keyboard shortcut to open the loop page. So it'll tell you if you're gonna have a conflict. So we'll not do that one. Instead, we might do Alt K. And then when I save that, it can change that shortcut to my new one. The sixth new feature is isolating your voice in meetings to give a better experience, especially if there's loud noises behind you while you're talking in a meeting. First, you have to create a voice profile. So go to the three dot menu and choose settings. Then go down to recognition. And if you haven't yet created a voice profile, you can go right here. It takes about 30 seconds. So I'm gonna choose create a voice profile. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read this right here. So I'll say start voice capture. Hi teams, I'm going to speak for a moment to help you get to know my voice better. And then I click end voice capture. It says it's learning my voice. Great, it says your voice profile is used to suppress background noises in Teams meetings. Now I'll click close. You can see right here, I can remove it or I can update it and I can even export these things. Now we're gonna go into the Teams meeting and show how this works. So now I'm in a meeting and if I go up to microphone, I'm gonna drop this down and under noise suppression, you see voice isolation. So it used to just be background noise only, but now if I choose voice isolation, sort of the AI behind the scenes is gonna filter out everything except my voice because it has that data that it trained on my voice. The seventh new feature is the ability to forward channel messages. So I'm gonna to go to this message here and hit the three dot menu and choose forward. And I can enter the email group or tag. So we will add in Alex Wilbur, hit there. And now I can forward this to a chat or a channel. We're just gonna forward this to a chat with Alex. I'll click forward. And now we'll switch over to Alex and show what that looks like. Okay, I'm signed in as Alex and there we go. There's the message from Mike. Please be sure to use the new TPS report cover sheets. The 18th feature is similar to the previous one, but it's the ability to forward channel messages that have a loop component embedded. Previously, this was blocked. So right here, I've got my message. Here's my loop component about the TPS report cover sheet offsite plan. We'll hit the three dot menu and choose forward. And we'll send it again to Alex and hit forward. And now we'll switch over to Alex and show what that looks like. So I'm here in my chat with Alex and you can see here's the TPS report offsite planning and there is the interactive loop component that's fully collaborative. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.